Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to Gemcraft Frostborn Wrath. Um, so I've been doing some thinking and I want to do a quick test. Um, I think this is the field that we will eventually do. So I'll just jump in here. I don't think I need to be in any particular mode to test this out. So I was thinking about the pylons. Um, actually, I don't even need to build one because there's one here. So, let's just take the case where there's only one tower firing on it. Um, I'm just going to put it right next to it. And I'm going to put a level one gem in there. I don't want it to shoot at any monsters that come by. And I'm just going to play this on normal speed. I want to watch exactly what happens here. Um, so it gets charged up. So I think it took um, about seven or eight shots for it to be completely charged. And then it fired. Let me just uh, test this again. Okay, that time it seemed like it took six. So I'm guessing it takes about seven shots per charge. Now. What happens if we have a grade four gem firing on it? Oops, I forgot that I needed to do this. All right, once this fires, we'll... Okay, so it's taken one so far. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven. And lastly, I want to see what happens with both gems firing on it. So uh, let me just re-socket this real quick. It's hard to tell with all this other noise going on. I might have to restart this just to see. But, okay, it's at zero now, so I'm just going to watch what hits it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seems to be taking about seven altogether. It's really hard to tell. But then the amount that it'll hit for is only based off of the most powerful gem. So what I'm thinking is um, so first of all the pylon does let me just get one built up here the pylon does three times um the highest amount that comes in and it chains and ignores armor um, now the chains do reduced it doesn't say how much they're reduced by I don't know if that information is available anywhere but so even with the kill gem by itself, shooting at this, um, essentially every time it's fully charged, that's worth three shots. So it's operating since it takes seven shots to charge it and you get three shots worth out. It's operating at a little under half efficiency. That's without counting the armor ignore and the chaining. 
And if you count the chaining, um, it could essentially be doing up to times four damage, but the chains do reduce it. So um, you could say if it's three times... Let's see. Three times the amount, and then four times the shots, if you count all the bounces. So it would be doing 12 times in seven hits. So even if the reduction from the bounces results in it doing about half of that overall, which would be a pretty severe fall off, then it's still almost more efficient to just have it shoot at this. And if I put skill points into pylons, then I can give them um, extra points as well. Now, the major downside though is that we don't get the special effects. Um, but if I have a separate mana farm, and actually, even these towers, if I set them to target structures, uh, like this one is, and then I put a beam spell on them, I think the beam will still hit the enemies. Oh, wait a minute. Is the beam actually targeting the pylon? Sure looks like it is. Uh, but I could always set it up so that the pylon is outside the range of the beam. If I want to use the beams to farm mana, um, then I could put the towers out in front, have the enemies walk past them first, get the beam used up, and then have the pylons that kill things in the back, and the tower would be set to structure. The only problem with that is I wouldn't be able to control what the beams would actually target. Um, but that might not be that big of a deal. Alright, so then on top of this, it seems that I could make these much more efficient by also putting several um, grade 1 or 2 gems in range of each pylon. So, I'm thinking it would look something like this. I'd have a set of towers and amplifiers over here. I'd have like maybe three to five kill gems. Each of them would have its own pylon that only it could be able to target. Oh, that's the other thing that I wanted to test. If I, um, let's get rid of this. If I decrease the range on this and then I upgrade the gem, what happens to the range? Okay, so the range does increase, which is kind of annoying. So I'd have to, um, every time I upgrade it, I'd have to come back and reset the range um, if I wanted to make sure that only one kill tower could shoot at each pylon. But anyway, um, if this is my kill tower and it's shooting at this pylon, then I could also have, um, I guess it would depend on the fire rate. Um, I probably want to make sure that each charge would get at least two shots. Um... So basically, I'd have to set it up so that for every two shots that this makes, so if we just say, um, let's see, so for every two shots that this makes, I'd have to have the smaller towers make um, five shots. So how would I do this calculation? If we're getting 1.51 shots per second, Um, okay, I feel like this should be a lot easier than I'm making it.
So I probably calculate the number of seconds per shot, which would be the reciprocal of that, and then multiply by two. Um, so two over 1.51, which, you know, is somewhere around 1.2. We'll do the real math later. So it would take 1.2 seconds-ish to get those two shots in. Um, so in 1.2 seconds, I'd need to get five shots from my other gems. So if they were grade one gems, I'd need basically five of them. And then I could see what happens if I upgrade them. So I'd basically... Um, I don't know, maybe I should convert that back into shots per second. So in a 1.2 second period, I said I needed five shots. So that would be five divided by 1.2, which is six. So I need a total of six shots per second. So if I got this up to 1.5 shots per second, then I could have four gems um, firing on it and so on. Okay, so I think I understand how to do the math for that. And it wouldn't have to be exact. Um, by allowing for five shots from the others for every two shots of the kill gem, that way I could be sure that it would always get at least one shot in. Um, even if the math is slightly off. And when it can get two or three, that'll be nice because the range of what it can deal is actually a pretty high spread. So it'd be nice to get a couple of rolls in. Uh, but that should make the this do much more than this would do by itself for the relatively minor cost of a few extra gems here um also these will probably shoot quite fast when they're fully amplified oh and one more thing to throw into the mix is that I can also increase the effectiveness of the pylons. So the main thing is that um, every five points gives me a 10%. Boost. I don't really care about the range. Not terrible though. Um, so I think I will put just five points in that. Um, I really need to start saving up more skill points, but since we're going to try to do this now. All right, that was a lot of planning. Let's uh, get into it. So I'm going to do endurance. Um, I'm going to attempt with this new strategy. Um, I'm going to attempt to do all of this. Um, and I'm not going to use the pylons right at the very start because um, I'd rather get all the mana that I can, and I'm not going to need them until a little bit later on. All right, so let's uh, start this. This is Endurance. We've got the three traits. Um, and I did adjust the sound slightly. There's not a lot of options, but hopefully the wasps shouldn't be quite so loud. All right, so let's just get the mazing figured out here. Um, gonna want to, I guess it doesn't matter which way around they go. But they'll all come up through here um, ideally I'll force them around, but I might not be able to do that, so I'm going to wait to wall that off. Definitely going to want to force them to go around this. 
Not going to worry about that. Send them the long way around and the long way around again. Okay, so that's uh, all the amazing. This stash is already open. Uh, this is endurance mode. Looks like we just have the one bolt there. Now, if I have a main kill tower row here, and then I have three amplifiers, then that would result in my kill tower from those amplifiers being in this slot. Um, which is not ideal, because then I wouldn't be able to force them to come up and around. And I probably do want to do that just to keep them in range of my beams as long as possible. So if instead of that, if we put the main kill tower up here, and then the row of amplifiers, then I could put the other kill towers here. Um, and then there would be amplifiers here. Yeah, I think I like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tower let's go with uh, here and here just to remind me of what the plan is and since I am planning to force them around we'll do this And I think I'm going to start just by doing uh, the three amplifiers in between these. And we're going to go with pure mana. Once we start to build pylons, um, we'll switch these to be... Um, well, probably doesn't matter which one of these we do. But I'll probably combine um, slowing gems in just because I'm not going to care about the armor and the slow could help, I guess. All right, let's just go ahead and put uh, one amplifier down here. Alright, now the other thing I'm going to want to do is, um, this is the first point at which all the enemies come through. So, let me just see, what's the first wave? 60 hit points. Alright, so I'm going to start populating these traps in a minute, once I get, um, once I'm sure that I have enough stuff up here. We don't have Swarmlings until wave four. One thing I'm kind of tempted to do is build another tower that'll be in range of this. And go ahead and open this up and uh, farm all the mana. Probably a smart idea, um, just to get it as early as possible. So let's see, this will be fully surrounded by amplifiers. So the next tower over will be here. And we can grab a copy of this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to structures for right now. It'll go ahead and take that out. All right, let's uh, give this a shot. And then I should probably go ahead and get this at least filled with a level 1 gem. I guess I'll run this on fast, because otherwise it's going to take forever. All right. And I do want to get beams as soon as possible.
just to give me some extra mana. So let's go ahead and do that with this one. And we're going to have Swarmlings coming soon. Oh, I forgot this had um, armor. Let's just go ahead and get a uh, Raid 1 armor tearing for right now to deal with that. And that'll make that go a lot quicker. Alright, I'm a little worried about not getting my swarmling killers ready in time. Let's see, these have 34 hit points. So grade three gems will usually one-shot these, or at least uh, sometimes due to the armor. So I guess I'm just gonna try to get these all up to grade three. Let's also go ahead and get one more amplifier in place. Once this is done, that'll take care of all the enemies for a while, plus I'll get a ton of extra mana. Okay, we're going to set this to target normally for a while. And let's see. Should probably bolt enhance both of these and beam enhance this. I can still use the freeze spell. Um, maybe I should do that right in here. Also going to add a wall there to force them to go a little bit further around. Um, I can probably add a couple more things in here at some point just to uh, force them to take a longer path. Okay, none of those spots are available right now. It looks like we managed to keep most of that wave off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and freeze the rest of these. I don't have any enhancements available for a while. Let's see. Oh, there's still a lot of swarmlings coming in. This is almost dead, though. Uh, let's change this back to structure. And then as soon as this is done... Okay, so now I can uh, lead these over this way. Okay, they're starting to zap everything. Um... I'm going to leave them right here so they can grab these things that got through. And then we'll just bring them all down this way. Okay, we're going to start getting a ton of mana. We can uh, get rid of this. We can throw a... I guess I already got the chest open. Alright, we made it past the hard part, I think. Uh, it should be pretty smooth sailing from here on out. Um, looks like I left a wasp up here. Just gonna lure it up this way. Oh, those are still so loud. Alright, now I do have to start getting ready for what's coming next. Uh, 
Um, oh, right. I need to use this opportunity to build my traps. So we're going to duplicate this a bunch of times. That's probably enough. Um, once they start to get into range of where these can shoot their beams, there probably won't be a lot of kill time. Alright, let's get these all upgraded to level 2. I can go ahead and throw a beam enhancement on that. Grab a copy of this. Throw another beam on that. Okay, we got a lot of enemies coming in now. Let's go ahead and get this upgraded. Throw another beam enhancement on that. Um, I think this is the tower that I'm gonna fully surround with amplifiers first. So I'll just uh, focus on building more towers as I do that. Um, amplifiers are already pretty expensive, though. Okay, so we're still dealing with the enemies fine. Wow, we're already on wave 15. Um, try to lead these mana things up further this way. All right, let's get this upgraded. Throw another beam on it. Start building out some more of my amplifiers. I should probably start getting the amplifiers at least to level two. Throw bolts on the ones that don't have enhancements right now. Okay, pretty soon we need to start figuring out this pylon thing. Uh, this one will be ready to go soon here. I guess one thing I can do is pick a tower like this one and put a pylon way over here somewhere that won't usually get activated. I change the range. Yes, I can change the range of a pylon. Nice. Okay, this is going really slowly. Um, I'm sure once I get the hang of it, I'll be able to set this type of thing up quicker. But um, I think I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. Hopefully the uh, mana farming works out well. Let's uh, freeze those to make them die a little quicker. Yeah, we definitely need to start getting some uh, pylons going. So let's work on this one. Going to create some space to build there.
Okay, so I think what I want to do is, uh, I wish you could see this range while you built. It looks like it just reaches this wall here. So I should be able to put the pylon in this location. And then I'm going to reduce its range until it can't fire on things walking through there. And then for right now, I'll force things to walk down into its range by doing that. So it'll shoot on things as they come up there. We're going to go ahead and set this to target structures. Um, so it'll charge that pylon up. Now, I'm not going to worry about this too much right now. But I'm going to guess that we're going to need, for each high grade tower, we're going to need um, like three or four low grade Um places so I can just throw oh, we're out of mana uh, let's just go ahead and throw that in there and this is just gonna have a very small range and be set to structures okay so I'll build a couple of those to get that thing going and actually for right now since this is the only one I'll just leave it to fire uh, this is actually not in range of that pylon maybe No, it looks like it is. Definitely doing enough damage. Alright, hopefully this is going to work. Um, probably should break open this and try to lure all of the things over here, just as a last resort. But for right now, I'm going to throw a bolt enhancement on this. Okay, 307 to duplicate this. Uh, looks like things are getting out of hand. Um, let's do this, and let's throw beam on that. Yeah, it looks like I didn't get my pylons built quick enough. Um, these are all set to target structure. I'll make sure they target this one. Is actually pretty expensive to set up, so I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it to do it this way. Um, this is shooting this pylon, right? I just need more pylons. Um, I should have built somewhere where I could target that one. Alright, let me set up my maze to take them as long as possible. Um, definitely want to walk around this. And then... Back in this way. Uh, eventually, this should be fully surrounded, so let me just wall this off for right now. Should keep them occupied for longer. Alright, I'm going to have access to Bolt soon. Uh, I think at least one enemy got through, which is going to make this really rough because of the corrupted thing. Gotta take this thing out.
All right. Well, I survived that for now. Um, we got swarmlings. Oh, we got a whole bunch of swarmlings coming out. All right. I think I need to get another pylon built. Um, I could potentially get in range of this existing one. Just see if I can pull this off uh, with that and with one more upgrade on this, which I can get at 2,000 mana. Might be able to pull that off. Let's uh, do a beam enhancement on this. Should probably just go ahead and freeze all of this in place. Just to help uh, take it out quickly. Never got around to killing this. Uh, that was probably my big mistake. If I had killed this early... I could have led all these over here, and then that would have given me plenty of time to set all this up. And we're going to let a lot of stuff get through at this rate. Let's see. This is not... Uh, I don't think that's going to be in range. I'll probably have to build a pylon down here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait until this has a bolt enhancement ready. Yeah, I'm going to have to build another pylon for this one. Next pylon costs 660. Should have that soon. Uh, gotta see what the range is again. Okay. So right here should be fine. And then we're going to set this to target structures. Don't think there's any buildings that it can target, so it should be targeting that pylon. Oh, it's a lot of enemies. Yeah, they already have 91 armor. So it's really only the pylons that can do anything to them. Uh, maybe I just keep building more and more pylons. So this can reach over here-ish. Uh, maybe there. That's in range. Set that to target structures. Uh, I think we just wait for another pylon. And it's possible I can pull this off. If I can get another beam enhancement on this to clean up these... Um... Once I have, like, four or five pylons, that should be enough to clear up all the enemies. But before that happens, we're going to be in rough shape. I mean, I guess it won't kill me if some of these get through. It's a lot, though. That's going to make it a lot harder the next time they come through. But... Bought me some time. Okay, so I think now we get this one targeting a pylon. Uh, let's go for there. Now, unfortunately, I think if I set that up right, can shoot this one, but not the other one. This one is only in range of that. Should have put it a little higher up. Okay, we now have four of these targeting pylons. Now, what I'm not sure about is if it's smart to go ahead and build a bunch of towers with gems around each of these extra pylons to get them shooting faster. These are going to be so brutal to take out. I think I'm going to focus on not letting these go. Yeah. 
they're just going to constantly have to shoot at these shields. Uh, still 19 layers left. I might have been able to do this if I hadn't let so many get through before. Um, killing this would have let me do that. Lesson learned. All right, let's just uh, run the rest of this out. Should lose pretty quickly. Yeah, I didn't get much experience from that because I didn't make it very far. All right. That took a long time, and I didn't even beat my old record. Uh, let's uh, leave that. I did get some achievements, which will put me closer to the extra achievement bonus. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, for the rest of this session, I'm just going to move on. Um, there could be like additional skill tomes. Um, one thing that would really help me is if I got access to the mana leeching or the critical hit, because uh, then I would have access to that on maps that don't naturally come with it. This doesn't help the pylon, does it? Yeah, I don't think so. Wait. Now it's still times 3.3. Range of 11 tiles, can change the range. Um, I'm gonna leave that there because I wanna see if that changes once this is finished socketing. All right, so they come from here and here and those are destroyed nests. I mean, everything has to come from this direction, right? So all I have to do is build a kill tower somewhere around here. Um, I guess if I wanted to do this optimally, I would build it all the way down here and then amplify it. It'll eventually be able to target a bunch of stuff. Um, this isn't going to be hard because there's no extra traits, so I can afford to play it a little risky. We'll do these two. Uh, go ahead and build one amplifier. Okay, this will be a little rocky at the beginning. Go ahead and beam enhance it. Should have actually just done pure mana. We'll be getting a lot more mana from it with that. Let me give this some extra range. Oh, that's interesting. Um, let's see, did this change at all? 3.3, 3, 3, 11. No, it's all the same. Yeah, let's just ditch that. Only have 33 waves to beat. This is just going to be a matter of trying to power through quickly. I guess I can do that. That'll leave them in range just a little bit longer. Do this as well. The beam isn't really getting used very much. Unfortunately. Alright, let's upgrade this again, throw a fresh beam on it, throw some more amplifiers down to get increased range. I 
because I don't really need to use this. Wait, are they coming in through this side somehow? Oh, they can go through the monster nest. Okay, once this gets up to level 6, go ahead and do some more upgrades. This is a really bad place to build this, but... It doesn't matter. We're just gonna... Yeah, we're almost finished. In fact, I think I'll just switch this over to Bolt. That way it'll clear out a bunch of stuff in advance. Go back to Beam. Just send the last couple of waves. Yeah, the range is just now, at the very end, just now up to where it would have needed to be to do much. Didn't even know there was a drop holder there. Whoa, we got a bunch of stuff from that. Ruined hideout. I didn't even see that. Okay, that's a pretty bad corner fragment. Two new map tiles. Okay, that field I just beat does have a stash. Oh, this is interesting. We've got like a little swamp area over here. I'm guessing this stash is going to contain the map tile for this field. But let's continue on this way. I'm going to try to do this one a lot quicker. I kind of forgot how easy these were. Um, okay, so I can't build towers in the swamp area. Um, but what I can do is just build a tower there, and then I can amplify it here and here and wall this off, and that should work just fine, especially since it's going to be able to shoot up here. Um, if I make sure that everything has to come by this way. So that means just make everything go I'm from here. Except for these guys, they'll just run straight in, but that's fine. Okay, uh, we need an amplifier here and here. Um, I'll just run dual, that's fine. Okay, let's just get through this uh, quickly. Save beam for when there's formlings coming in in large numbers.
Okay, I think it takes 8,000. Go ahead and do that. Well, this is clearly the way to do this. Why did I think that said shrine activated? Oh, I was reading this. Okay, a uh, couple of tokens. Nothing else really of interest. Well, this looks kind of like a nightmare. Okay, we have two wizard stashes back behind us here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the ones from these first, though. Let's do this one. It looks a little simpler. Okay, so with the right walling, I can make them go past the stash. And then I can just make my kill gem take the stash out. So... I don't really care if they walk past the shield beacon. I might destroy it later. So they're all going to come here. We have to make sure that they go this way. Some of them come from that nest. Okay, so now everything has to come past here. And... Um, I'm not going to be able to quite complete this with amplifiers, but it doesn't matter. We only have to get through 42 waves. Um, I guess I'll do a dual gem. Do that, so they have to go around. Okay. Just uh, power through this. And uh, throw a beam on here. Not gonna have nearly as much mana this time. Let's uh, just do that for right now. a specter with one hit. I thought I already did that. Maybe I uh, lost that field. Alright, you know what? This thing is getting a little annoying. Let's create a grade 3 gem there. Take that out. That should do it pretty quickly. Need four thousand. Let's uh, go to beam real quick.
Wait, am I still not in range of that? I'm not. Weird. All right. Let's go ahead and get our amplifiers down. Just want to be able to take this nest out just for... Uh, I guess there's no good reason. Once the nest is down, I'll go ahead and call a bunch of waves early. Okay. Let's get this upgraded again. Uh, wrong enhancement. It's fine. I don't think I noticed um, what was in the stash. Guess we'll find out shortly. Come on. There we go. All right. Looks like it was fragments. Maximum bolt charge. Okay, all of this is actually pretty nice. Definitely hang on to that one. That's kind of boring. Okay, um, I got a little bit of time left. Let's um, get rid of this. This one we said we're saving. I'm gonna get rid of that. And that. Okay, lastly, we'll do this one. And then when we come back, we'll have two stashes to get in endurance mode. Um, okay. So, it looks like they've carefully designed this so you cannot use amplifiers. But, I don't really anticipate caring. Um, all I really need to do is make sure they spend a lot of time in here, so. Let's just say they come in here, go down to the bottom, and they have to come back up. And then they have to go around this way. And back around there. down to this, and then we'll just send them around the long way to come up from this side. Um, not that it really matters, this is kind of the last opportunity that they'll have to be shot at, um, if that ever even reaches that range, which is not clear that it will. Alright, I'm not going to call waves early until we destroy the stash, I think. I will use beam to... Oh, that'll just shred through the armor in that thing. Yep, that's going to be open soon. Uh, 
Shadow Core Trove. Now, we do have to survive 40 waves here, and, um... I guess I can do the old pylon trick. Um... Let's see, what did I make them do? Come down here, and then up this way. I don't think I actually left myself a spot where I can build a pylon. Maybe here? Uh, that'll probably eventually be in range. Just help a little bit with the um, the burst towards the end. Should have range once I get this upgraded again. I think beam gives me a lot of hits. Yeah. Um which gives me more of a multiplier. All right, let's get this upgraded. The pylon will be in range now. Kill this thing. Whatever comes into range. What killed it all the way up there? Didn't have any kind of bleed effect on it. Hm. Oh, the... The pylon killed it. That makes sense. All right, let me see if I can get another pylon in range of this. Looks like I could build here. That's no good, though. Yeah, I kind of messed this up. Unless I can build on here. I guess I didn't think about that. Nope, none of this is buildable. Right, that's the swamp. Alright, not a big deal. I'll just get this upgraded to level 7, and that should be... That'll probably be good enough. Yeah, we're almost uh, there. Alright, let's get this upgraded. Keep putting beams on it to make it a bit more powerful. I mean, even if stuff gets through at this point, I can always kill it the next time around. Got plenty of extra mana. Just let the pylon kill everything at this point. All right, so this was the one where we got Shadow Cores. Mm, not that great. All right, so we've got just the two stashes to do. So, um... In the next episode, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and then considering how easy these last few fields were, I think I just want to go ahead and push forward uh, because the more skill tomes I get, um, the easier it's going to be to go back and farm 
endurance mode on some of these fields. I think I was on the right track with my pylon strategy. Um, but it'll be easier with more skills and uh, more points to put into them. Um, thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next one.